Hi team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Today we're going to do number 97 on the FTC Elementary K-6 through Practice Test. This is a great problem as a review of core fractions. Let's jump into it. Number 97 here. Which the following are equivalent to 1 over 200? 1 half of 1 percent, 5 percent, 5 tenths of a percent, or, or 5 hundredths? And then it gives us these answer choices. And then just so you notice, uh, two of these are correct. So two of these are equal to 1 over 200. Which one, which two are they? Well, this is a great problem to review your core fractions because we're going to be using core fractions to help us solve it. And uh, I'm noticing here that it, I see fractions, I see decimals, I see, I'm sorry, I see percents and I see decimals. So this is really a fraction decimal percent problem. So you know what I think we're going to do right now? We're just going to take a little moment and we're going to review your core fractions. I used to call these the Magnificent Five, but then I added a couple more and I called them the Magnificent Seven. Let's, uh, let's, uh, I want you to remember all these, okay? That's the point, all right? Because I keep on adding fractions. I want you to know what 1 over 1 is, 1 half, 1 third, 1 fourth, 1 fifth, um, 1 eighth, and 1 tenth are as fractions, decimal, and percents. So here's our fractions. Now let's look at the uh, let's look at them in terms of percents. 1 over 1 is one whole. You can think of it as 100%. And 1 half, well that one right there is 50%. 1 third, 33%. And a third. There's a little carry over there, but let's just approximate it to 33%. 1 fourth, 25%. 1 fifth, 20%. 1 eighth, oh, 1 eighth is, this is the tricky one that you need to know, 12.5%. 1 tenth is your uh, 10%. Now, what's the decimal? Decimal, all you do, you're transferring over, whenever you go from uh, a percent to a decimal, you drop the percent sign, and you got to remember to move the decimal over always two spaces to the right. So it just becomes 0 0.1. We could just say 1 because it's one whole. And this one right here this becomes um, 0 0.5. So 50% is uh, f um, 0 0.5. 33% is 0 0.33. Repeating 25% like this. 20% is just 0 0.2. No need to have the 0 here. I know that you're moving it over two spaces and dropping it, so you might be tempted to say, to say 0 0.20, um, but that's not it. Just just write it like this, okay? No, don't add the zero because it's no longer needed in this. Even though it's an it's there when you're using it in the percent, it's not going to be there when you write the decimal. And I'm always notice how I'm always writing the including the zero in front of the uh, decimal sign. That's very important. This one right here, one eighth, one is uh, this right here, and one tenth is 0 0.1. These are your core fractions. Super, super helpful to know. Now, let's start with, uh, let's say with the uh, 1 over 200, right? 1 over 200 is actually, right, isn't it 1 half? That's our core fraction. So if you wanted to think about this as a, uh, a decimal, well, what's the decimal of 1 half? One half, you'd be saying to yourself, one half, isn't that um, 0 0.5? Correct. One half, the core fraction of 1 over 200 is one half. And the decimal of one half is 0 0.5. But we have two zeros, which means I add the two zeros in front. Ha ha ha! Here's another way of remembering this. If you rem could remember that 1 over 1, right, is equal one one over a hundred, pardon me, is equal to uh, one hundredth. Then that would be this right here. Now we're looking for half of it. So half, because we're going to do one over two hundred. That's half as small. We're going to be taking half that. So that would be like half that would be zero point half of this would be zero point zero five. Okay. 
Whichever way you try and get to, this answer is fine. I think it's helpful to remember how to deal with uh, fractions with uh, large values in the bottom. Identify the core fraction, write it, and then add in the zeros right after the decimal. Okay, it's a great way to do it. Um, now, that means that our decimal portion here is, uh, is not located. But we can turn this decimal into a percent real quick. Right, here's our decimal. Follow those rules for changing a, a, um, a decimal to percent. Now we're going to move the decimal this direction forward. I'm sorry. Oops. Here's our decimal. We're going to move the, the decimal because it's over here. We're going to move it two spaces to the right and drop it. So actually, the decimal of five thousandths is 0.5%. It's half of 1%. So we have answer choice 1 and answer choice 3. Answers A. Okay team, I hope you found this video helpful, not just in getting the answer of 97, which I'm sure many of you are looking at and you're like, the answer is, you know, A. But more as a review of core fractions, of fractions, decimals, percents, and how to convert, you know, fractions into decimals and decimals into percents. Really helpful that you know all this. This is part of that general knowledge that you have to know for any type of elementary uh, and a more advanced teacher certification exam in mathematics, regardless of what state you're in. So you could be in Massachusetts or Florida or Texas. All right? Okay, team, this is Chris Abram from GoMath. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi, team. I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the GoMath workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.